Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today is actually my 100th video. Can you believe that guys? 100 videos. Thank you so much for tuning in this entire time. I appreciate you guys following me along on my journey. And for those that are just tuning in, welcome. Again, welcome. Thank you so much guys. Today's video, um, we're gonna be talking about real estate. That's right, I get a lot of people asking me how do I make the most of the uh, real estate that I have in my Detolf Curio cabinets. Well, today I'm gonna show you guys what to do with the real estate that you have in your cabinets and how to make the most of a shelf by trying to make a scene. That's right, we all love to make scenes from the Star Wars movies, at least I know I do. Um, so let's go check out that real estate. Let's see what we can do with a little piece of glass and some toys. All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you some examples of what to do with your Star Wars toys, how you can display them. I got folks asking me, you know, what's the best way to display my toys? Like, you know, I only got so much room. Well, these curio cabinets, they're only X big, you know, they only have so much room to work with. But what they do do well is they display these little play sets beautifully like this cantina right here i mean it's a perfect perfect size play set that goes in there you can dump some action figures right in the front like these tuscans you know kind of almost squeezing in two two vignettes almost i got the tuscan scene over here and then i you know a little bit of jawas action you know but it's you know the exterior figures and then the cantina so i'm almost kind of squeezing in two elements here but the play sets, um, and with the, if you have an overhead light like this, it just looks awesome. Um, spills down onto the top of the play set, illuminating the bar. Highly recommend if you have this play set, stick this play set in a detolf. It's going to look amazing. It's an instant, easy, no brainer setup. Just put some figures in there, and bam, you've got Mos Eisley right there. I think you'd be really pleased with that. Um, and again, you have room, you've got room to stick stuff uh, in front. Um, yeah, I could put a land speeder uh, in front. I, I personally just didn't want to cram that area, but if that's your fancy, you can definitely stick a land speeder in there. And on this shelf, we have another Tatooine setup. Above, I have the cantina. Below, I have an exterior scene that I chose to, to uh, flesh out. Um, I love having the cantina on top because of the light. And on this shelf, um, I chose to stick the land speeder in the Dubac same shelf. Um, like I said, I could have put a land speeder on the top shelf, but I didn't want to cram, so it's here. Both land speeders. I've got a Tuscan um, with the Dubac and the two stormtroopers. That to me is like them looking for the droids, so that's kind of its own little deal. And then the boys in the land speeder. That's like them going to Mos Eisley, where the adventure kind of picks up um, when they meet Han Solo and everything. So um, I know it seems a little obvious, but I'm just showing you what I do with my toys, guys. You can do whatever you like, um, but I, I find it helpful to look at other people's collections sometimes to see what other what other people are doing. Uh, I like to display my toys um, according to the way the scenes are in the movies. That's just kind of my thing. Um, and if you have a do back on land speeder, pop them on a shelf. It's a good place to display them. It's a good Tatooine setup. It's easy. Um, however, if you've got a sand crawler the beautiful remote control sand crawler you gotta stick it in a detolf i would um it is a little cramped but it does fit and if all you have is a detolf you can definitely stick the sand crawler in there and you can absolutely recreate the purchase of the droids with r2 and 3po of course and uh, farm boy luke with it looks to be a broken tip on his saber that's a bummer I kind of don't care because he doesn't need a saber in this scene, and that's just it. I don't, um, I don't worry about weapons sometimes in certain scenes because if the figure didn't, have, if the character didn't have a scene, uh, weapon in that scene in the movie, I probably don't need the weapon in my scene. Um, but that's just me. I don't always do that, but certain times, like with the broken tip saber, I'm cool with it. It's not doesn't need to be perfect. And yes, that is a uh, jowl from the 12 inch line, um, but. This sand crawler looks beautiful on this shelf. Um, I couldn't honestly think of a better place for it. It's just perfectly sized. Um, highly recommend sticking one in there if you have it. Um, and this this cabinet here has, uh, this is all my uh, Empire stuff. Well, not all of it, but some of it. 
The ProBot and turret playset is another prime prime uh, piece of plastic that occupies this real estate really well. It does fit in there. Um, you angle in it. You can angle it a couple different ways, but I angled it so I could stick Luke um, on the Tauntaun back there in the corner. Um, and of course, wiggle some room so I can put my Wampa. Gotta get my my boy up here front and center. And um, of course, with that custom Kenner sign, really seals the deal. But um, yeah, I, I wanted an Empire uh, scene. I wanted something from Hoth, and this playset is a perfect piece um, to occupy this shelf. It fits perfectly, like I said. Throw in some figures. I mean, with looking at that right there. The turret and then the probot. I know instantly I'm on I'm on Hoth. I'm, this is Echo Base. Easy setup. Highly recommend. As a vintage Star Wars collector, I'm all about the action figures, but the play sets are pretty sweet. And luckily Kenner gave us a bunch of play sets to play with. And the Dagobah play set is awesome. Um, I do love this thing. It uh, this is all about Yoda. I do put my playset on the bottom of this shelf because of the light that it's going to block from above um, based on my light setup. And I've thrown in a catalog and a uh, card back and um, love that catalog. And uh, old school blaster, but no, this, this playset is awesome. It's, it's um, you know, it's Dagobah. This is all you need for Dagobah, really. And um, if you have it, stick it in here, man. It's going to look great. Easy Yoda setup. As a vintage Star Wars collector, perhaps the greatest joy is being able to take these toys and make scenes from the movies. That's what I love to do um, as far as displaying my stuff. Everything is loose. I mean, I've got some MOCs and stuff like that, but predominantly my collection is all loose. And I like that because I get to play with them. I get to display my toys, make scenes like this. And um, this Cloud City playset looks perfect on the shelf. It fits in there perfectly. Um, you have room in the back. You've got room on all all the sides to stick even more action figures if you want. There's plenty of room um, to jam a bunch of stormtroopers on here if you if you need to. Um, but I think it looks great like that. And I have put my Slave One um, right below the Cloud City, and I have a random Bespin blaster just sitting there. I'm not sure how that got there. That is weird. Um, but yes, Cloud City and the Slave One, it, it made sense, hand in hand. Um, and if, I know this is not the Boba Fett video, but here's my 12-inch Boba Fett um, missing his, uh, his scalps. Got his card back, the ship, of course, and the man doing his business. So there's two Cloud City examples for you guys. And here's my Jabba the Hutt setup. Um, very easy scene to do. Just need Jabba. He's kind of his own action figure. I know he's billed as a play set, but I still kind of consider him a action figure. Um, just a great, great, great uh, addition to the Jedi line. Again, with the overhead lighting, casts a nice light on him. So he's a perfect top shelf. Um, I love the band. Perfect top shelf. Uh, and my new custom uh, Effet Mon from the Next 17. Um, Boba Fett, of course all the regular familiar faces. But yeah, Jabba's a great top shelf uh, um, resident for the curio cabinets. I think he fits in there perfectly. Plenty of room to put all of Jabba's figures in there. Even though I have some figures that are on other shelves, which is why there's a gap right there, um, I spread out my Jabba goons, it doesn't matter. This full setup like that, it looks amazing. You got Jabba, stick him on a top shelf. The Tatooine Skiff. Power of the Force. This is one of my favorite toys in the entire line. A must, a must for any Kenner collection. Um, this is a, a showpiece if I ever saw one. Um, had to create its own shelf for this. And yes, the skiff does have its own landing gears. Um, but I was able to find this amazing acrylic stand, which is just an awesome addition. It really gives it that uh, floating, levitating feeling. Uh, for the skiff and I got some desert sail skiffs uh, tucked in the back there with some Jedi Luke's but yeah this skiff is an amazing piece hard to get but if you got it you gotta stick it in a shelf like this put some Jabba goons on it it's definitely a, a, a showstopper um, sight to be seen in my opinion for the Kenner Star Wars line it's one of my favorite pieces 
If you have it, please, please, please stick it on a shelf like this. Give it some glory. It deserves it. And for those army builders out there, those focus collectors with a ton of stormtroopers, this scene, this shelf is for you. Um, you can make this scene very easily. You just need a ton of guys. Um, and of course, this is the Emperor's arrival in Return of the Jedi. This is my take on it. Um, you can, of course, make scenes without play sets um, in these curio cabinets. Um, and as you can see, this shelf will hold a ton of action figures. So you can absolutely recreate this scene. Hope you guys um, found this video useful, um, informative, fun, if nothing else, to stare at some toys. And I really just, the purpose of this was just to share with you some options on how to display, how to make some scenes with the real estate you have in your curio cabinets. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please share it. Give the like button a thumbs up because it greatly helps out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.